Hi, welcome to another video. So, I have been a fan of local models. They are really useful. You don't need to worry about internet connection. The privacy is always a plus, and it is just a win-win for most things. I especially like the models that are super small and can run on smaller computers like a Mac with 8 gigs of RAM or something like that, because it is really great for traveling and everything. And today's model is just like that. This one is called Jane Nano 4B. This is a model by Jane, which is the desktop app for running and using models locally in a really good interface. It is open source and everything, and this model is also open source. They say that they have specifically designed and trained it for deep research tasks. They say that this model has been optimized to work seamlessly with Model Context Protocol, MCP servers, enabling efficient integration with various research tools and data sources. It is built upon the Quen 3.4b model, which is a good model in itself, but they have specifically trained it for deep research tasks and agentic tool calls, as well as using MCP servers, which is pretty amazing as well. It doesn't work well with reasoning, so it is recommended that you use it without reasoning. Quen was also never good at reasoning, so this is also fine. It is trained on some good tool calling and stuff. They have evaluated this Jane Nano model on the Simple QA benchmark using the MCP based benchmark methodology, demonstrating strong performance for its model size. Like you can see here, it even scores above the DeepSeq 67B model with the MCP usage for deep research tasks and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome as well. They say that the evaluation was conducted using their MCP-based benchmark approach, which assesses the model's performance on simple QA tasks while leveraging its native MCP server integration capabilities. This methodology better reflects Jane Nano's real-world performance as a tool-augmented research model, validating both its factual accuracy and its effectiveness in MCP-enabled environments. This model is available on Hugging Face, and you can try it out with anything, or you can also use it with Jane, which is super easy as well. And you can just download it and use it accordingly with Jane. It is able to be used in Jane by just installing the beta version and then just selecting this new model over there and then using that accordingly as well. Now let me show you that how I've been using this model as well. Now, before proceeding, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is a crazy AI platform where you pay once and access all AI models and agents at one place. It combines all the best AI models and experiences. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of other models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now back to the video. I have it set up here. So, one thing that you have to make sure of is that you install the beta version because you won't find the MCP option and stuff over in the stable build. Anyway, I have the MCP server set up in the settings. I have the fetch server as well as the serper MCP server set up over here. Fetch is basically for URL page scraping, while serper is for Google search and stuff like that. So, now let me show you how it works. First of all, just create a new thread and then head on over and make sure that you select the correct model in the chat and then also enable the MCP server tools in here as well. Once that is done, we can go ahead and give it a prompt. 
I'm going to ask it to tell me why XAI bought X. And this is a good prompt, because it will need to do searches and stuff. And it obviously won't be in the knowledge of the model itself. So, once we send it, you'll see that this is what the response will typically look like. You can see that it first used the Google search option over here. For each tool, it needs to assign the parameters as well. And you can see that it did that here, and did everything. And in a bit, we got the response, which is actually really good. I mean, it's the same as what you'd get with perplexity or chat GPT search or anything like that. It can either be super fast or a bit slow based on what kind of computer you have. I really like it. I also tried it with some other prompts. Like here, I asked it to tell me about the new Gemini 2.5 flashlight model. And you can see that it again went ahead, did searches, got the output, and then it went ahead and scraped the pages. And in a bit, it got done, which you can have a look at here. And it tells us everything quite well, which is pretty awesome as well. That is mainly how it works. It is actually quite good. It can do some good searches, which a lot of smaller model footprints and very low memory footprints can't quite easily do and are not good at, whereas this is actually useful and really good as a local search and research alternative for the not-so-private options like perplexity or chat GPT or stuff like that as well. So, this is good, and you can actually use this model with everything like Klein or RuCode and stuff, and it can also work with all kinds of MCPs. Like, if you want to add some MCP server like browser base or stuff, then it should be able to use that as well. It is really good and works actually well, which is not something that I expect from these models. Anyway, this is amazing for sure. You can go ahead and check it out and use it for yourself. It should work on almost all kinds of machines because 4B is really small and should easily run on any new-gen computer with like 8 gigs of memory, which is quite good. There's also the GGUF variant of it available that you can use with something like Olama. If you don't want to use John and just want to deploy it with something like Olama, then you can use the GGUF variant, and it should work fine as well. So, that is also something that you can consider. I have been really liking this model, and especially with Jan, it performs really well. And you can mold it to just perform like you want without any issues. So, check it out and let me know if you guys like it or not. I really liked it and thought to tell you guys about it as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.